In this video, we're going to look at a PDF that I found on soil erosion from the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources. And what we're going to do here is open this up uh, in Orbit Notes. So again, um, I have my you know automatically open web PDFs uh, toggled off. Uh, but what we're going to look at here is how to open it, how to force it open uh, within um, Orbit Note. So when I go in here and click on the Orbit Note, um, I have to click this here as well, and it will open this in a new tab within Orbit Note, which gives me all of my my toolbar options and and everything here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend I'm going through this document as a student, maybe uh, intermediate or above, um, likely, and looking for you know just the different types of erosion. And I'm going to pretend that that's my particular assignment right at the moment, or I'm working in a group that that's what I'm trying to do. And so I'm going to use the highlighting um, feature here on the toolbar, and I'm going to go up and select some text here. So I'm going to go, okay, sheet erosion. That looks like a, a type of erosion. Uh, movement of soil from raindrop splash and runoff water. Okay, so that is one type of erosion. I will select that text, and I'm going to go up and highlight that in say teal and I'm gonna go for each different type and highlight in a in a different color so down here I found another version of erosion or another type and I'm gonna keep going through my document here um, you know and, and pulling out the different the different types here so we'll make that one yellow and I think that's maybe it for this oh bank erosion okay we'll get that one too so again selecting here and kind of up to that figure six marker. So now that I have uh, four different highlight colors within my document, um, and there's many ways you can choose to do this, I'm choosing separate colors just to show you how to collect these into a doc. Uh, but you may decide to tell them, you know, all of your, pick one color for your erosion uh, types, uh, pick one color for examples of that kind of erosion, whatever it may be. So after I've got them collected up here, I'm going to go up to this toolbar function here, and this one is called Collect Highlights. And what it's going to do is it takes a second. It will you know, ask us this little option here at the beginning. Um, I'm going to sort these highlights, and, and what it's going to do here is create a Google Doc with all of these highlights in a separate Google Doc. So this is excellent for research for making notes around a particular topic and collecting the source that you got it from, which it will do automatically for you, and then anything that you know you thought was important within that source. So I'm going to sort the highlights by position in the actual doc. I'm going to get it to give me all of the colors, although you could narrow that down at, you know, at, at any point, and I'm going to hit OK on that. You'll notice it opens in a new tab here, and it's going to bring these over for me and essentially just take all of those highlights, copy them, and paste them with the original highlight color into a new document. And I could go up here and go, okay, PDF highlights, this is from, you know, um, Ministry of Natural Resources or something like that. Just so I can kind of remember when I look in my PDF docs, um, that that's what this one's about. I may decide to go over, and if I can spell it correctly, put in soil erosion, something like that too. Um, the nice thing here is that Orbit Note is automatically, and this will work within, you know, read and write for Google Chrome as well. These tools are unchanged, and it will give me the source document as well too. So I can actually go back here and find the original document. Um, and it will pull up that original document within Orbit Note, and it will show me, you know, because we're within Orbit Note, it's going to keep all of those highlights there as well too. So that is the the highlight and collect highlight options within the annotation tools of Orbit Note. Super super useful if you're doing research, collecting lots of data from different primary or secondary sources online, that kind of thing. Bring it into Orbit Note and then let it work its magic for you.